Back in 2001, a friend of mine by the name of Roger Shattuck heard about a rear wind cloudster. This original airplane was produced in 1940. We were able to obtain the production worksheets and the flight test records and, and so on, all of which are really based here at uh, Blakesburg at the Air Power Museum in the files over there. We were able to find out how the, the original paint scheme, color, and things of that sort, what the options were in the way of the equipment that was on it. And we pretty much followed all of that to form with the intent of not making it an absolute outstanding looking airplane, but more have it a really good representation of the model and the make. And I, I think we achieved that thanks to uh, all of the efforts of everybody involved around the country, really. So on uh, June 1st, 1940, the airplane first took its test flight by Billy Miller. We were shooting to make June 1st, 2009, its second test flight, but we couldn't quite make it. However, we did do the test flight on June 13th. Uh, and as it turned out, June 1st, there was really bad weather and for several days, and we had some other issues. So. June 13, 2009, uh, we uh, did the second test flight and, uh, and a couple more thereafter. And then we actually took it back into the shop after that to finish painting and, and cleaning up. We had some oil leaks, as everybody knows, and there's always some other issues that go along with that. Took it back into the hangar and uh, you know, three or four weeks later, we pulled it back out and had it all finished looking like it is now and uh, relaunched it, I guess it was probably just over four or five weeks ago, six weeks ago. And right now we got um, maybe 25 or 30 hours on it. And we're really moving along, getting the trims all taken care of and the uh, final things. And so far, so good. Engine's running great. Great flying airplane uh, once you're in the air. <laughs> Been a lot of interest. People walking by, knowing what it is, glad to see it. But I think number one is the is the fact that we've had maybe three or four or five people come by who have Cloudster projects, but they're dead in the water. They've had it for nine years, they've had it for seven years, and they just kind of ran out of steam. Every one of them, after seeing the plane, are reinvigorated, they're inspired, and they're encouraged, and they all have said, we're gonna go back and get started on our projects and get be here at Blakesburg in some future year. So that's been particularly rewarding. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.